why did you want to take Solomon Kane and build a whole new enterprise movie around him? Well, so Solomon Kane is uh, well, Robert E. Howard, who is the, the godfather of Pulp Fiction and the reason why this kind of genre really works. Kane, to me, is one of the iconic characters from his oeuvre who'd never really been fully explored. You know, I read the, read the books as a kid. Uh, and they became part of my consciousness, you know, and that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm a genre fan as a filmmaker, sci-fi fantasy. Those movies are the reason film exists for me, to see new worlds on the screen. So when I was looking, I'd made a couple of horror movies, and you know, they turned out pretty good and people liked them, but I wanted, I wanted to make a fantasy character. I heard that Kane was being developed. I met the producers, and they were looking for a script for an origin story for Solomon Kane. Now, in, within Howard's writing, there are, there are no real detailed origins. And they said they wanted to make a three-movie cycle. So I thought, well, this is great. I'll have the opportunity to make a modestly budgeted picture, hopefully on an epic scale, which will take us to a point where we can then really explore Howard's you know, original stories. So it was a question of, of un unpicking the threads of, of what Howard had written for Kane, finding the, the, the basis of what could be an origin story, and making this iconic character come to life. Because he's a fantastic character. He's kind of taciturn and doer and very serious minded. And I wanted to make a fantasy movie which takes itself seriously. You know, I kind of grew up in the 80s and early 90s when fantasy was treated a bit like a silly, a, you know, a silly thing. And I don't like that. I think it can be done really seriously and you can get thematic power and interesting ideas and fantastic visuals out of it. So that was a kind of the motivating factor to chase something which is done so rarely. Certainly, in, I'm, I'm, I live in England, and it never, it never gets done over there. This is an independent picture done out of Europe with no American financing. It was a question of saying, we can do something which doesn't have the studio influence. It's original, it's classically made, uh, and it's a character which has been sort of begging to be brought to the screen for a long time. And then you look at the visuals that people like Gary Gianni have created for it, you, see, you just see it happening. All you've got to do is plug a fantastic actor into that, with someone like James Purefoy, who comes along and, and he embodies it absolutely. He understands the, the seriousness of the role. He understands that we're trying to explore a man's uh, acceptance of who he really is. And at the same time, you say, yeah, we've got, we got monsters and demons and ghouls and people on fire and having sword fights and huge sets and epic landscapes. You know, so it's all of those things together just made, yeah, this is a no-brainer for me. I've got to make Solomon Cain. So I chased after it. Okay, well, thank you so much. That's my time. It's good seeing you. There you go. We're doing these quick <laughs>